Hello everybody and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. It's been uh, quite a time since I recorded one of those and it's the first time I do this from my new office. So you can see it's still empty. I need a lot of stuff uh, getting done here, but we will be eventually there. But today what I want to talk about is a structure that you probably didn't know about. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you were confused, uh, but I will give you the name and uh, references. And we're looking at the anteromedial corner. Yes, so you heard it right. So let's see what we are looking at today. Okay, so here we are. We all know the posterior medial corner and I made a specific video about the anatomy and all the structures of the five different components that we have in the posterior medial corner. Then I also have a video specifically about the posterior lateral corner. So go check that video out here too. I'll put the link somewhere down below. And then there is also the anterolateral corner, primarily the anterolateral ligament and all the other stuff, you know, band, etc. So we, we know these corners, but there is also the AMC, the anteromedial corner. So the anteromedial corner, I put the M in brackets because I thought initially we should term it actin corner, but I tried this with the actin tubercle, well, it didn't work out. So we're just going to go with the normal nomenclature. So anteromedial corner, and this was also brought up in another article about the tibial quadrants where the opposing quadrants support each other. So if we have structures here, it would make sense to have maybe a little bit more support here than we sometimes think. But let's have a look. So this is just a quick recap, posterior medial corner. We got the MCL with its different layers. We have the posterior oblique ligament, joint capsule, semimembranosus, and OPL, etc. So go check that out in the other video. But we are now focusing on the anterior components or the anteromedial parts here. And just again, from a view from above, this is anterior, this is posterior. So this is more like the posterior medial corner. So we're now looking at the anterior medial corner. So what is actually there apart from the joint capsule? Now I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about this. So what I show you here is kind of like an oblique view straight onto the anterior medial corner. And we have the superficial MCL, we have the deep MCL. So this is a very common knowledge. And sometimes you have an additional transverse or oblique transverse running fascicle that has the origin somewhere close to the MCL or superficial or deep MCL, more like in the deep MCL area, a little bit more anterior to the MCL. So it runs a little bit down obliquely anteriorly and it blends in typically into the meniscus. So it's not going into the bone or into the tibia. So that's what it makes a bit like a, a, like a different structure. And this is not all the time present. This is an anatomic variant and it's prevalence, etc. We can have a look in the reference section later in this video. FCB, it's called basically fascicular capsulofemoral band. And I'll show you this here just in a second, but let's have a look at the real case. So if you liked the video so far, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell button because then you get an email every time I upload a new video. So that's important. And also make sure you check out my free online community. It's MSK uh, Radiology School. It's free. It's available for everybody. It's for healthcare professionals. There are a couple of lectures. There are videos. You even can get, get access to my wrist MRI masterclass if you reach a certain level. So it's really for spreading and sharing resources with each other, being there for each other, helping each other. So go check it out. And then you can also check out my new MSK Accelerator program. This is a newer program I launched recently. It's a monthly subscription based model where I share my own cases. So this is where I show and share how I work, how I report, I show my cases and teach with those as opposed to the fellowship, the virtual MSK fellowship, which is my flagship program where you can bring your own cases and I teach you with your own cases. So it's kind of like a different approach to things. You can check both out here with the links in the description somewhere down below. But now let's move on with this video. So here's the case and this is a, like a, was a younger person. He had a fall and then kind of like locking sensation and, and pain and everything. So we did the MRI. And I mean, there are a couple of things like, you know, I can briefly show you the, the, the true problem here, as you can see, deep cartilage defect post here on the lateral femoral condyle down to the bone. And then we can also nicely see some cartilage delamination, how it really goes into the, uh, or separating cartilage from the subcranial plate and some bone marrow edema adjacent to it. So there were a couple of findings, but this is not really what I want to show you today. But what I want to show you here, and this is actually a case from my own uh, practice, is this structure here. So we are talking about this structure. This is basically something, it's black, it's sitting where we normally don't see anything. You could easily mistake this for a piece of meniscus uh, or like a loose body or anything. But if you scroll through, 
you can see it has an origin here below the MCL. It's kind of like even very close, or maybe even partially attached to the MCL, deep MCL or something like that. But if you, at least at this location, but if you move anterior, you start to see that this is not going down where it's supposed to go. It goes very far anterior and then touches down here on this area of the meniscus. So it's kind of like blending in here. We can also see this on an axial and when we go on axial, we can go high up. So we go to the origin here. We've got some thickening here, maybe some additional tissue, but again, that's not the topic of today's video. And then you have this thick origin here and then this band that goes this way. So we know this is not a normal deep MCL course and it blends in with the anterior horn of the medial meniscus. Okay, so this is this structure. I can also show this on a T1 here. So here, we don't really see it here nicely. Maybe we can use the sagittal PD. Maybe we get some information here. So let me just window this a bit nicer. Again, this is the cartilage defect and delamination. So we go here and you can see it here. It goes down obliquely. So we only see a shadow here. I think it's just a slice thickness. There's not really allowed to see more here. But the good images are the axle and the coronal and we should not mistake this for part of a displaced meniscus because you can see there are no missing pieces of the meniscus. It's not a flap, it's not a fragment, it's not an osteochondral body, but it's a um, capsular or a fascicular capsular femoral band. So that's what the term is. So let's have a look at the references for a second. So here is the reference that talks about this. It's from 2016 in HER and the title is Association of Medial Meniscus Extrusion with the Prominence of a Fascicular Capsulofemoral Band. So that's the actual term and the structure we're looking at today and it's subjacent to the deep medial collateral ligament. So they looked at this and you can see it here. It's pretty much the same image that we have in our particular case. This is this nodular change uh, close to the deep MCL fibers and we can just bring up the other bit here and then you can see this is this is pretty much the same stuff okay so then going back um, we can go deeper the sagittal is not good but we can use the, the axle here you can see it's not the MCL it, it has the abnormal course it's not the deep MCL either so it's basically this band like shape and it transfers orientation sometimes a little bit of an oblique component to it and this is exactly what we can see here too um, kind of like this oblique transverse course of this fascicular capsule femoral band. They also looked at this here in arthroscopy, so it's kind of like this nodular cord-like structure here in the anteromedial aspect of the knee joint capsule. So it's technically part of the joint capsule, but it's fascicular, not uh, thickened uh, and blending in with the anterior horn of the medial meniscus, as you can see here going in down there. So do you have any more images here? Yeah, you can see it, a couple of serial images here, extrusion, and then of the meniscus, but there seems to be an association. So this might get stronger if there's an issue with stabilizing the meniscus, but this is just an association, doesn't mean much uh, per se. Yeah, so they measured this and it's thicker if you have an extruded meniscus, but still it can reach up to three, two to three millimeter even without extrusion. So there's a statistical difference, but this is just, um, yeah, statistics, isn't it? So it can be very small. Um, yeah, so I thought this is interesting, so go check out this article. They looked at this also from a histopathology point of view, and it's an, they call it the anteromedial capsular femoral band. So they use different terms, but I think we can, uh, the FCB, I think is probably okay. And it's a good review of the anatomy there anyways. So thank you very much for watching this video. Share it with your colleagues, with your friends, with your residents and, and other people that might be interested in learning MSK MRI. And also go check out the free MSK Radiology School. Make an account, join the action, start discussing cases and stuff. And yeah, be part of this international community of like-minded people who share their common interest in MSK MRI and radiology specifically. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.